Hey, Blazer Tales. Um, I have got another great one for you today. This is Lifeboat 12 by Susan Hood. This book is absolutely incredible. It is a true story of um, when the Germans invaded um, England. And this book is so amazing. This book is the main character is Kenneth and Kenneth lives in a home with his mother. I mean, his father, his mother has passed away. So he has a stepmother and he has a younger sister and the stepmother does not like him at all. And they have very little money. It is hard to have food or clothing. So when the Germans are about to invade England, there is a um, something that they could apply for to have their kids sent away to Canada to keep them safe. Uh, the little sister was too young. Kenneth was the only, the only one of the two children that was able to uh, be allowed to go. And he is accepted. And at first he's not really happy, but he is excited to get away from his stepmom. So they ship him off. They put him on a, uh, he, he can't tell anybody for like a month that he is one of the ones that got accepted. So when they, they, put him on the train to go. He sees one of his really good friends named Terry. So he's kind of excited now that he has a friend going with him. They get to the boat ship, this huge ship, uh, like a cruise liner. And he, they are so excited. Um, the men who work on the ship, you know, call them sir. And they're like, they've never been called sir before. They think they're living quarters are extravagant. They can eat all the food that they want. And this is coming from, they barely had scraps to eat. So they are in hog heaven on this ship. They think this is going to be great and wonderful. They have a whole fleet of ships with them and they have um, ships to protect them in case the Germans try to do anything to them. They are hundreds and hundreds of miles away and then they're left on their own because they think they're far enough away that they're safe, but they're not. And in the middle of the night, one night, um, one of the German ships torpedoes their ship and the ship starts going down. Now, they have been trained every single day that they've been on the ship how to get into the life, uh, the, uh, yeah, the lifeboats and how to get to safety and Kenneth knew that his lifeboat was lifeboat eight and that's the one he had to get on. So as they're fleeing their rooms and they're trying to get to the lifeboats to try to get to safety, Kenneth remembers that his stepmom had bought him a coat. That's the only thing they could afford. It spent all their money to buy him a coat because they knew it was going to be uh, cold in Canada. And she made it very clear that he had to come back with that coat when it, the war was over and he came back. So as he's running away, he realizes he, because it was in the middle of the night, he does not have his coat. So he runs back to his room to get his coat. And by the time he gets on deck, lifeboat eight is gone and he doesn't know what to do. He finally finds lifeboat 12 and he gets in lifeboat 12 and they drop the lifeboat into the water right before the ship, the whole ship sinks. There are... Let's see, to start off, when they were on, first set sail, there were 46 boys and 44 girls that were sent to Canada. Um, when they got on life, when Kenneth got on lifeboat 12, there were only 46 people, period, in the whole boat. He doesn't, they don't know who has been saved, who has died. There are a mix of adult and children on this boat. And this is incredible. You have got to read this to find out everything that Kenneth and his fellow um, men and women on this, on this boat, what they go through. It is absolutely incredible for it to be a true story. I'm not going to spoil the end and you're going to have to read it to find out what happens to Kenneth. I will show you in the back. It has some great, it has a lot of information about the, the, um, the ship and what all they went through and the attacks. But if you can see it has real pictures, there is a picture of lifeboat 12 and the people who were in it. And it has pictures of Kenneth and his fan and his um, friends and family. This book is absolutely incredible. You do not want to miss it. This is Lifeboat 12 by Susan Hood. Thank you.